hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to our third full week in Ireland and the first day in the new week it's Monday morning now and we've got a full week planned which I will share with you in this weekly vlog I've shared weeks our first and second week in the last couple of weeks and today is all about week number three um, this week I know we're probably gonna go into Dublin at least once um, we we'll hopefully get to that forest walk I keep talking about some sun sunny days are predicted and we're moved into our house I'm standing in my new kitchen with my a beautiful new uh, toaster and kettle which we're gonna use for breakfast for the first time this morning um, and I'll just share my week as I've done and make sure that you leave a like subscribe so you can keep up with future updates and also leave me a comment let me know what you thought of this video um, so let's begin our week Monday morning happenings my husband's building a desk for me we've got 90s rock playing on Spotify this desk has <laughs> you say been a like you'd say it's a labor of love but it's, it's not been fun. It's a simple desk, but it's been so complicated and we've broken tools and, and, and hopefully I'll have a desk soon. Finishing touches are happening and I think he will be very relieved to be done once this is made. Thank you, Mark. I'm under strict instructions that I will like this desk and it looks nice. It'll be perfect for, for now. I want a fancy desk, a nice big one, but I don't know yet. This will do. And my little desk is made. Mark did such a good job. And there's really loads of chairs around the house. So I popped one there. I've got my website open. Found a little spot on the side to stick my phone. Oh, it came with this light. Beautiful bright light as well. The house came mostly furnished. Including this lovely sofa here. So I'm kind of in the lounge room in the back corner. There is space around the house for a proper office. But for now I just thought I'm going to start down here. And have this little desk and see how I go and work out where I want to be in the house because there's a couple of bedrooms couple of spots that I could possibly use as my office I'm gonna kind of wait and see and at least starting with this little desk I can get on with work and not be at the dining room table which all the time we've been in Airbnbs and in temporary places I've been at the dining room table but now I've got a proper spot I can do some work and I'm gonna probably just get on and do some work not sure if we'll actually get out the house today but it's been a busy one. It's now Wednesday and yesterday, Tuesday, we actually went into an area, it's part of County Dublin, it's just outside of central Dublin called Dunleary. Um, it's where the harbour is, where the boats go from Dublin to London or Dublin to England um, and there's lots of shops and lots of pretty sights around there. I did film a l little bit of clips on the way into Dublin and some around Dunleary which I will share with you now. We actually went to Dunleary um, to get some copper jugs. I've looked into it, I've been looking into all the benefits of copper. And so we went in to get some copper jugs um, and that's what we found in a beautiful Ayurvedic store. And I also found some homewares. I was so excited to find some bowls, which we need bowls for oh, home. <laughs> We need bowls for our kitchen so I found some pretty bowls on sale and that was our Tuesday pretty much oh and Monday my day ended with pretty much just going to Aldi and that was the day and I did film a haul which is if it's up already I'll share otherwise an Aldi haul is coming to you soon and today being Wednesday we are gonna finally go on that forest walk I've been talking about for ages and um, I will share that with you today
we've taken a beautiful drive through the countryside to Avoca and this is the road, the walk that we're going to do. It's about two kilometers and it's, we're going to spot some red kites. It's a red kite walk and we're starting on this busy road here. Well, it's a beautiful day. Pool walking is a little bit windy. So picturesque in the town of Avoca. Still in the town of Avoca with this rushing river through it. I do love all the pretty buildings in here. I think that's actually the tourist building over there. We've been to the butcher in this town before and it is amazing. I think somehow we're going to end up walking up in the forest at the back over there. This is what we wanted, the forest walk. Wow. Yes. Totally, totally worth it. Little bit muddy. This is so magical. This is just what we wanted, a beautiful forest walk. And it's so peaceful. And we've spotted a couple of birds and boys of spider sp squirrel. It's just beautiful and it's a perfect day for it as well. This walk is called a red kite walk. Red kite are oh, beautiful birds of prey. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but there's one hovering above and we've seen a couple as well on this walk today. We're just above the town of Avoca. You can see that bridge we were at before and all the pretty buildings. It kind of goes around in a loop, so we keep walking in this direction and then we go back down onto the main road again. So we walked along that path over there and we've gone looped around and down back to our car to go home. What a lovely walk it's been. It's Thursday today and we're having a mostly home day. The boys are home and I actually just went out to the shops to get loads of supplies for art. Um, I know I've touched on before but I homeschool my children and my seven and nine year old boys and we're kind of starting from scratch with all our resources here in Ireland which makes it really fun because to get to start we've already had loads of years of knowing what, I, what we like and don't like and I know what supplies to get for them. So I went out and got heaps of stuff at the shops for art and we're just going to probably have a home arty day and I'm also working on a bit on the curriculum because I'm going to have to um, register for homeschooling here as well so I've been looking at the curriculum and starting to get our proper plan together and everything and um, so that's my day our day today it's really a homeschooly kind of day I might do a little bit of work here and there and see how I go but that's today and I'll catch in with you again tomorrow on Friday happy Friday uh, it's Friday today the end of a, another busy week and we're gonna go to the Wells house and gardens what I actually do is down below I'll leave a link to um, where we've been through the week, the red kite walk we did earlier in the week around the forest and the Wells House and Garden where we're going today. Just so if you come to Ireland and you want to go where we've been or if you're a local and want to see where we're going then I'll leave the links down below to those. Um, and I'm actually standing in front of my wardrobe. I thought I would share inside my wardrobe because I do get sometimes questions about um, do I always wear black and yes I wear black and I've got a dress on and yeah I'm pretty much always in um, my dress and um, I'll, I'll show you inside my wardrobe. <laughs> So this is it. Yep, shocking I know. Um, mine goes up to this jacket over here, which I think I'm going to wear today. I've been wearing the same jacket, I know, um, for a while <laughs> because I only just bought this one the other day and um, I think I might wear it today. Um, that's my husband's stuff over there. He does have a separate wardrobe, but this one, so this one's a longer wardrobe and that one over there is a little shorter. So he got the shorter one and I got the longer one because of all my dresses, but I'm letting him hang his shirts there. Um, and I know it's a teeny tiny little wardrobe of clothes and you probably Probably recognize all of these prints from all of the videos and these you're gonna see over and over again I wear it wash it it's back in the wardrobe um, thankfully things dry here in like a day with all the heaters on so I can just keep wearing all of the same things um, that's my newest favorite one um, but yeah that's my wardrobe we moved here with just suitcases I picked my absolute favorite items to keep 
and everything else else is given to charity I might accumulate more things it does make it easier not a lot of choice so I just rotate through my dresses and I love them all and yeah so that's my wardrobe <laughs> just in case you're interested and wanted to see um, and we're gonna get ready and get going to the beautiful Wells house and garden today Boys are convinced we've entered the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. Um, this is Will's house, look at it! Wow! What a grand entrance! Absolutely beautiful, look at that! Incredible! So we're going to walk around now and we're going to actually have lunch in the restaurant here. Um, I, on the 1st of February, I'm going to be starting Keto Strict and until then I've been kind of a, a bit all over the place and it's actually still January at the moment when this goes live. I know it'll be February but um, today we're going to have a beautiful big lunch and I'm looking forward to it and I'll definitely share what kind of food you can expect to find here at Will's house. <laughs> Little one spotted the doorbell. No, no bridging the doorbell. You can point to where it is but we... <laughs> Uh, wow. And look how big and beautiful this door is, Ooh, and all the little detailing are big. Nice. Okay, we're at the restaurant here. I think I'm going to go for the cottage pie. Oh, yum. It's such a nice little restaurant, and they've got such good facilities for kids. They've got toys at the back, so I saw. They've got books the kids are looking through. And they've got nice looking cupcakes and all bits here as well too. That is my cottage pie. It looks nice, doesn't it? And Mark got a burger and boys have chicken and chips. <laughs> yum. So good, you can see. So hearty. What a yum lunch. <sighs> that lunch was amazing. And we've just rounded the courtyard and seen peacocks. Wow. This is called the craft courtyard. It looks like there's candles, crystals, all kinds of things. But we're just mesmerized by the peacocks. <laughs> Deciding whether to play chess or checkers. How cool is that little indoor area here? So if it's rainy and you're here, you can come and play chess or checkers. <laughs> but not use them as weapons. Um, now we're gonna go on one of the walks. There's a number of woodland walks around here. One of them has fairies and hidden doors and I don't know, but we're gonna go and have a look and see. Lady Frances Woodland Walk. That's what we're doing. Oh, it's all hidden secrets in these woodlands. You know, that's a good little find over there. Do you wanna go and have a cup of tea at the table in the middle of the woodlands? But that comes straight home, guys. <laughs> Who knew what surprises you'd find here? It's kind of very Alice in Wonderlandish. Oh, look at that. It's all grown over. Oh, look at this. There's a tree going out the table. That's so funny. Eight, Dad. We found eight. We found eight little doors to fairies. And we've been told all along this walk there are 60 hidden doors and the boys have a running total. Found the Gruffalo. Time to head back to the car now and go back home. But it's been a beautiful day here in Wells Garden and House, Wells House and Garden. I'll de definitely leave a link down below if you want to come and check it out. Um, but I'll see you again tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. Not sure what we're doing. It's always a bit of a last minute plans, but um, I'll definitely share it with you. It's Saturday morning now and uh, it's already the middle of the morning. I spent a good deal of time working on my website. There were some issues at the back end. All looked good, but from the behind there was just stuff for me to do. So I spent the last hour doing that and I actually feel like a hot chocolate. And so I'm making the first hot chocolate in my kitchen. It's been all week and we've been out and about and I haven't made one. And if you followed my channel for a while, you know I love my hot chocolates. So I thought that's kind of all I'm going to film today because this afternoon we're actually going to see a movie. We're taking the boys to see Early Man um, and that's going to be really our day. We're just I'm home doing home stuff this morning, see the movie, bit of shopping this afternoon. So I thought I'd also take this time, give you another little look around my kitchen and um, yeah, just to show you my hot chocolate. Oh, look, you can see one of the things that I got was this magnet. Um, it's a magnet with a bottle opener. We never really have bottles to open, but when we do, 
it's on the fridge it's our only magnet for now but let me show you a few other bits that I've got this week kettle and toaster I showed you last week but I love it so much um I last week I showed you my one oven glove that I got and I found these ones it's so good what I did was I found these at Tesco last week and I almost bought them but I just thought they were a little bit pricey I think they were 750 which I sounded a bit pricey to me so I kind of left it thought about it I went back this week randomly it was reduced to 450 so 4 euro 50 and I got this pair of oven gloves and I've got a spare one in case I need a third one for any reason um still got my little fruit bowl um my utensils I'm absolutely loving having scissors in here because I always need scissors and they go back in there and yeah awesome um I've got my salt and I bought turmeric just yesterday because I love using turmeric heaps in cooking and so it's my first spice purchase and I've got my <laughs> milk and cream ready to go for my hot chocolate and I'm going to be using this Tesco 85% to make my hot chocolate so I've got milk bit of cream in there <laughs> I'll show you the mugs as well my husband and I each picked one can you guess whose is whose <laughs> yeah obviously this is his he chose this one Star Wars one and this one just makes me laugh every time drama llama I'm just I'm obsessed with llamas lately they're the cutest most adorable looking animals so that's my mug um, and I'm gonna get on and make my hot chocolate I might show you once it's done my nice hot chocolatey goodness but that's really gonna be it for today there you go our hot chocolates are ready for his and hers and we're gonna have a nice quiet moment and enjoy our hot chocolate go and see the movie and that'll be our day, so I will catch up with you tomorrow. So it's now Sunday afternoon, and another week has drawn to a close. We spent today, just how I spent Monday, home and going to Aldi. We also walked to a little playground around the corner, but being Sunday, there were loads of kids there, so obviously there was no way I was filming, but that's kind of been our Sunday, and it's been our week, another busy week, where we went into that beautiful Dunleary earlier in the week and got the copper jugs, which we are loving, by the way. We are loving using them. They are just beautiful to drink water out of. Um, and we had a couple of nature walks, didn't we? Going on that red kite walk through Avoca and going to the Wells House and Garden. So it's really been another busy week, and the week ahead, again of course it's busy, busy again um, we've got plans tomorrow Monday Tuesday you'll have to wait for next week to see how it goes and if you haven't noticed I'm kind of filming my whole week I take a week to edit it and then it's uploaded on Friday so every Friday you can look forward to another edition to see what we've been up to in our life in Ireland and all the adventures that we go on and I hope that if you're not already subscribed to my channel you'll hit that subscribe button and join the Yummy Inspirations community and also leave a like and a comment let me know what you thought of this week's video thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon bye